The story is these two soldiers are given an impossible task to take a letter across land that has never been stepped on before by their, by their, their side in the war. So they've got to cross no man's land, cross into enemy territory on a race against time to deliver a message that will save 1,600 lives. One of their brothers is there as well. Um, and that's the heart of it. The heart of the story is just a message needing to be delivered by this time. And if it's not, these people will die needlessly. I'm a bit of a history nerd. He didn't know this when he called me up. Uh, I've always kind of been interested in the World Wars. I thought World War I was fascinating. I'd, I'd kind of read all about it. My grand and grandpa both loved war movies, so I grew up on them. Uh, and so, yeah, like, I mean, I've always wanted to write a big war movie. I think, you know, sometimes youngish, youngish women aren't the obvious choice to write big war movies. And so to be given this chance, this opportunity, I just was like, seize it, both hands, dig in, hope for the best. We knew it was going to be one shot. Uh, and some of the original challenges in the script were just wrapping your mind around that. Um, when you go to a new scene, how do you get in and out of scenes in an interesting way that doesn't feel double beating? How do you make sure that you don't repeat action? Uh, how do you make sure that you tell a cohesive story in a very kind of real-time bubble. Uh, so they, they were all challenges and they were all like cerebral challenges. You just had to think your way out of a lot of these problems. The most important theme was the sort of the idea of sacrifice, what you do for other people and what you owe other people. Uh, and very much involved in that was the concept of family and of home. I think, you know, you could hear in, in the sort of South Downs in Devon, you could hear the guns in France. You know, it was so close and so intimate. And I think that just fascinates me and, and saddens me in a way that these, these people were trapped, you know, an hour from home in hellish conditions. And when they came back home, they had no way to describe what they'd seen to the people who were there. So I think in a way that was fascinating.